Hello, in this lesson, I'm going to demonstrate how I use S um, SQL Server's views to get structure of data to be exported to a CS Pro file for the data dictionary that is already structured and set up. In front of me here, I'm looking at the data dictionary. And in the data dictionary, once you're familiar with CS Pro and the data dictionary concepts, this should be straightforward to you. I have a identification which is a length of one character, two characters for my parish ID, three the five par characters for my ED, three characters for my household, two characters for my um person, and one character for the sex, and two characters for age. It would be nice if I could use my SQL servers to store my data from collection whether it's electronic or other means and ensure that the data is exported to suit the data dictionary with the lengths of each field. In order for to accomplish this, I will switch over now to SQL servers to look at my database. In my database, I have a lot of fields and I'm looking at a field trying to get some of the data out of the database for the parish, the EDD household, those fields just that would match my data dictionary. We ignore all the other data. So I'm looking at these fields. Parish, two characters, ED. In this case here, somehow I have only one to three, four characters that are visible. So I would need to put an extra zero here. We'll see how to accomplish that in the view. Also, the 11, I would like to accomplish a zero, one, one because household number based on my dictionary should have three characters and ED should have five characters whereas parish should have two characters. Um, I do not have age and other things here. I only have manufacturing the structure of the dictionary but I would suppose that this was age and I would suppose that this was sex. sex. One would be sex, one would be age. So how do I achieve getting the data dictionary structure from a view? Well, we would use SQL servers. We would go to view. I would call this the hello world view. We add in the table. Once you are comfortable with SQL servers, you select the fields that you are working with. And in this case, the fields that I am working with is parish, ed, also. And I will take this to other fields here. Um, I'll make this a little bit more visible. I already want to switch over again to show you. I need an identification number with character one. My first record here, record one, first records, set of record, I would call it um, single quote one. One would represent my record type my H-E-L-O, hello record. And that would represent something like a household in a hierarchical structure. I will put it at the top because it's the first thing that should appear in my data dictionary. As you would see, it's the first thing. And it should come in with a length of only one character. When it sees a one, it's, seeing, it's actually saying that's a household record in my case. Par should come in with two characters. So I will simply take this script here and ensure that parish is going to come in with two characters. So here, I will play, paste in my script and you will see the entire script. Write, replace with two characters and here I will put in the field for parish. And that field was P-A-R-I-S-H, parish. Okay. Okay, um, maybe I spelled that incorrectly. So it's yes, P A R I S H. I will simply copy it. I'll fix the script in Notepad here. And then I'll copy it from Notepad with the correct spelling. And that would make it much easier for managing to fix here for me. Okay, so that's two. The ED, I see it's ED, so I'll simply take this I want it to be five characters so I paste this here 
already have a script with five characters. Okay. Now you may be wondering why I have right trim and left trim. Well, in the scanning of the questionnaires, maybe you would have picked up that there are some spaces between the numbers before and after. So I'm trimming it out to ensure that I have only the numbers and I would be able to have outputs that are formatted in the way that I want them. So let's look at our data dictionary again. Let me just put in here parish number. RISH parish number and this is my ED ED number. If I look at my data dictionary, I should be able to match it up. So I should get a one for the record type, one here record type, LOID number one um, at the record type level, two for parish, five for ED. So I'm looking one for record type, two for parish. I have five for ED. So now I'm I'm missing something. Let me see what I'm missing. Parish ED. Okay, household. Three for household. So parish ED household. Household. See this one has three, but this one is inconsistent. It has only two, and this is where we need to fix it. So I would simply copy this, take the same statement, and put it here. I have a three here already, so I'll just use it's the same statement. I'm just repeating. Put some extra spaces there. And this should be called household number. Execute. So now I have zero one one zero four nine. This is what I want. So it takes only three spaces as it is in our data dictionary here. Three, three character spaces. Person number, sex and age. Well, I have something here. Call it person number. P number. P number should be. Let's go back to the dictionary to see what P number should be. P number should be of length two. So here I would like to do a two so I could use any one of these. Alright. Use any one of these. P number. So I have two. Okay. And after P number, sex is one, age is one. Sex is one, age is two, so I will call this sex. P number, and then I call um, okay, so I will call this one sex. I will want it to just be one, so I will do the same thing here. Okay, I will just copy this one. Paste it here, and I only want one character, so I'm actually just removing one character. If it has two, keep it as one character, and that's this value here. This is only for demonstration purposes, so you would identify that I'm just manufacturing data as I go along okay so I have one character for sex it doesn't matter if it is not representative of a data key let me just remove delete this item so this is my final data dictionary and um this is my final data outputs it's a view and basically I have so many fields from that master table but I only want these now how do I get the data from the view I'll save the view, I'll call it test, hello view. How do I get the data from the view into CS Pro? Well, basically every user of CS Pro also knows SPSS. And in SPSS you have what is called importation using an ODBC connection. You use that method and you import the data to SPSS using this ODBC connection. 
and then you save that file after it's imported you connect to this specific view you save the file as a delimiter in subsequent video i'll show you how to perform